This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. Our friends at Noble Gold can keep you safe and protect you, whatever happens next. By starting a precious metals IRA or 401k, you can fight the coming wave of inflation and ride out the storm with your savings intact. And as a bonus and thank you, you get a free five ounce solid silver America the Beautiful bullion coin with each qualifying plan you start this month. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you or just use the link in the description or pinned comment. Threat to Americans is not jihadist overseas. It's homegrown domestic terrorists inspired by white supremacists. The gravest terrorist threat to the homeland is domestic violent extremism. Domestic terrorism is our number one threat. Domestic terrorism has been steadily increasing and that that threat needs to be addressed. Domestic terrorist groups are really uh, starting to surge in this country. It's a big concern. We know that domestic terrorism is a, is a grave threat, but what can we do to stop it? What we need is to take the laws we already have and apply them to white people. And white people are committed to being villains in the aggregate, right? And that's the thing that white people don't trust us to do because they are so corrupt. You know, their thinking is so morally and spiritually bankrupt. The thing I wanna say to you is we gotta take these motherfuckers out. But I know, but like, we can't say that, right? If we can go after international terrorists, why can't we do it at home? Today, we're mostly looking at our neighbors rather than a Osama bin Laden that's far off in Afghanistan. Bin Laden and co. didn't have supporters and sympathizers among the House Republican caucus. The Republican Party is basically a domestic terrorist cell at this point, and they should be treated as such. There are elements of the GOP that are starting to look like the jihadists. Al-Qaeda wasn't umbilically linked to the American conservative movement in the way that these domestic extremists clearly are. This belief that the election um, was fraudulent, that the COVID restrictions are unnecessary, all of those ideologies pushed by Donald Trump, but, but my question for you is around incitement. We had a policy, and it was very controversial, it was carried out under the Bush years, of going after and killing um, an American, a Yemeni American, with a drone strike for the crime of inciting violence. As Miles is talking about, is exactly right. If you took what President Trump said and you instead put it in Anwar al mouth, we would be talking about a drone strike. Domestic terrorists vote and international terrorists don't. MAGA and the domestic terror threat is much more worrisome than any foreign threat. Al-Qaeda wasn't white. And white terrorists have a certain advantage, a certain, what's the word I'm looking for? Privilege. And now an elected prosecutor in Loudoun County finds herself in the middle of a firestorm over the arrest of a father accused of scuffling with deputies at a school board meeting in June. Dad showed up to the meeting looking for answers after his daughter reportedly was sexually assaulted at school. Right wing media is stoking the flames. And we've went forward on that prosecution because of the actions within that boardroom, which if you've ever seen the video, it really has the hint of the insurrection on January 6th as far as the, the mob mentality, the heated rhetoric. It just was a very unsafe situation. White terrorists don't cause widespread fear or panic in the same way that brown terrorists with big beards tend to. It is domestic white terror that is the greatest threat to our way of life. Right-wing domestic violent extremism is the single greatest threat facing this country. There is a serious right-wing domestic terrorism problem in this country. President Trump is gone, right? And the extremists are not. The Republican Party is the getaway driver for these domestic terrorists. What I would call MAGA terrorists. You're either with them or with us. You have a Republican Party that sits mute while domestic terrorists plot the next overthrow of the U.S. government. So people at home are making the bombs, loading the guns, sharpening the knives, getting ready to aim their venom at whoever Tucker Carlson says is the next target. It's an extremely volatile situation that we're in right now. White parents are allowed to erase centuries of truth from U.S. history. That entitlement, that incredible sense of white privilege, which boils down to complete impunity for them while the rest suffer. Alrighty then, my mind and soul have been sufficiently punished. So if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button. I post daily, if nothing else, a short or two. So hit that subscribe button and then let me know what you think in the comments.